Hello there, my beautiful friend. Thanks so much for joining me. This is our last day on week number three. We're going to start this practice in a kneeling position at the back of the mat. This is going to be a super nice stretchy flow, so we're not going to get into any power or strength building. We are just resetting ourselves today. So go ahead and meet me on your mat. If you would like to sit on a block, you can pause me and grab that now if you don't like to sit in kneeling position. So, bringing the legs together, sending the hips back, bringing the hands to the thighs. Going ahead and closing the eyes down here. Tapping into how we feel right now. It's taking some nice rounds of breath. Allowing yourself a moment of calm. Remembering that this time is just as important as our strength building and working out is. Talking kindness to yourself. Giving yourself some grace. When it feels good, you can put her flood as eyelids back open. We're going to come into an all fours position and we're going to warm up our wrists. So once you get here, let's just go ahead and take circles towards the right. Really grabbing through the fingers, gripping the mat. And we're going to reverse that circle, so going towards the left now. And let's just rock forwards and backwards here. Beautiful. We're going to point the fingers towards the outside edges and just take a nice sway left to right. Still gripping through those fingers. And if it feels good, you can point the fingers towards the body. And if this is as far as you want to go, this is beautiful. Otherwise, you can tuck your toes and take a rock forwards and backwards here. Mm -hmm. When that feels good, we can all walk back. All the weight is on our toes here. Beautiful toe stretch. And let's just roll these wrists out. Nice, simple movement here. And roll the other way. Maybe take a little shake. We're going to interlace the hands. Point the palms towards the front of the room and inhale the arms up and overhead. Neutral pelvis here. We're not dumping into that low back. Breathing, maybe taking the shoulders a little further back here. And slowly we release. I'm going to walk forward, coming into a downward dog. We're just going to slowly come here, no rush. Nice bend in the knees. Or you can take your dog for a walk, whatever feels good for you here. Just having a few rounds of breath.
And that feels good. We're going to take this right foot behind the left. And we're going to lift up through the right to give the weight to that right foot. So that you're going to feel this down the IT bay in here. Probably in the calf too. It's beautiful. Breathing. We're going to bring that left heel back towards the mat and we're going to bring this right foot through. So we're on the outer edge of that right foot and we're stretching through that ankle all the way down this right IT band. Coming back to the breath. One more round. And that right foot comes back with the side of the left. Now we're going to take this left foot behind the right, bend through that right knee, and stretch through that left leg. Coming back to the breath. Slowly, that right heel plants. This left foot comes in front now as far as it can reach to the right side. So now we're on the outer edge of that left leg. Should feel wonderful. That ankle, that foot, that outer IT band. Pressing through the shoulders equally. Sending love to all of those tight areas here. We all have tight IT bands. We, for some reason, that's where we like to hold things on our outer sides. And those fascial bindings are serious. All right, we're going to come back. Now we're going to take the feet to the outside edges of the mat. We're going to come in for a twist. So right hand comes to the left ankle or calf or knee. Looking under that left shoulder. Maybe having a light grin on your face. One more round of breath here. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Left hand, right thigh, or right calf, right ankle right knee whatever feels good and we're looking under that right shoulder now one more round of breath and slowly we release walk the feet back to the center we're going to roll forward into a plank, lower down those knees, and then we're going to come all the way down to the belly. Inhale, we come up, cobra, and exhale, we fold. Beautiful. Go ahead and pull that right leg up towards that right armpit, right knee up towards that right armpit. And if it feels good, we're going to thread this right hand towards the left. So picking up the upper body and threading it through if that feels good for you. You could also come to crisscross arms if that is more stretchy for you. Take one more round of breath here. 
I'm going to push up through this left hand to bring us back to our bellies. Slide that right leg down. Beautiful. Pulling that left knee up towards the left armpit. Lifting the upper body, threading this left arm if that feels good for you. You could also crisscross the arms. And coming back to the breath here. One more round of breath here. And slowly, we pick the upper body up, bringing that left hand back, and send that left leg back. Beautiful. Hands come under our shoulders, and we're going to push back and all meet down dog. We are in no hurry. So take your time. Coming through in all fours and then sending the hips up and back. Let's take a few rounds of breath here. Finding what feels good for your body right now. We are going to take one more round of breath here. And then we're going to come up onto the tiptoes, bring the gaze forward, bend the knees, hop, step, jump to the top of the mat. Here we are standing forward fold. If you want, you can grab opposite elbows, you can take peace fingers, or you can tuck your hands under your feet. Let your toes give your wrist a little massage here. Just whatever feels good within your body right now in this forward fold. One more round of breath here. And we'll come up into a halfway lift. Lengthen through the spine. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll peel all the way up to standing. Head and neck are going to come last. Shoulders roll down the back body. Palms face forward. Beautiful, beautiful job. We're going to shift the weight over into the left here. We're coming in for a figure four standing stretch. If you'd like to scooch over towards a wall to help with balance, be my guest. Otherwise, we're going to pick this right foot up, cross it over the left, flex that right foot, sit back into our chair here, feeling into that outer right hip. Hands at heart center or overhead, whatever feels better for you. You could also bring your hands to your knee and your foot and try to deepen that stretch here. And we're breathing. Three rounds of breath here. Finding that gazing point and not losing touch with it. And on an inhale, we rise up. Be 
beautiful shift in the white now over into that right leg picking up that left crossing it over flexing those left toes sitting back once again bringing hands to wherever feels good for you you have lots of options Coming back for that gazing point, that dristy, not losing that gaze. Three breaths. And inhale, we rise. Let's just take a little knock on heaven's door. We're not going to be here long, so just enjoy this. Nice shakeout movement. Y'all know I love this, this seemingly easy pose. It's great for mobility and the mental chatter. This is a great way to get out of your mind and onto the mat. Beautiful. I'm going to bring the feet together. Inhale the arms up and overhead. Slice through the sky. Forward fold. We're going to take this right foot behind the left. Cross it over. So it's kind of on the left side here. And we're folding. Getting this nice outer IT band stretch again. Breathing. And we come up to lift, right foot comes back, and left foot steps behind and over. And we fold here. Beautiful job. Take one more round of breath here. Uncross the feet and slowly lower down into a squat here. Hands can be on the mat or heart center. Choice is yours. And we're going to come on to our booties. Rocking and rolling. If you don't like to rock and roll, just come onto your backs. We're getting ready to do our bicycles. And tomorrow we get to change it up, which excites me. <laughs> so wherever you are, we're coming onto our backs, hands behind head, interlace, elbows are wide, opposite elbows to knee and ready. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, yes. Hug those knees in. Maybe taking circles with the legs if you are into that. And wherever you are, we're hugging that right knee in. We're going to send that left leg out long. And we're going to bring this right leg across the body here, coming onto that outer left hip. This right hand goes towards the right, gaze goes there. If you want to bring this left hand to this left right knee, left hand, right knee, be my guest. And if you want to take it even a step further, you could extend that right leg and come back to the breath.
One more round of breath here. And slowly we come back. Hug that left knee. Right leg goes out long. Take it all the way across the body. Come into that outer right hip. Left hand goes out long. Gaze goes towards that left hand. Right hand, left knee. And if it feels good, you can extend the leg. Coming back to the breath here. Making sure we're filling that belly up with the air. One more round of breath here. And slowly we peel back. Sending the legs out long. Go ahead and take the arms up and overhead. We're going to walk the feet towards the right. Walk the upper body towards the right. Nice left side body stretch here. Maybe pulling on that left wrist with the right hand. Slowly coming back to neutral here. Big stretch, and then we'll walk over towards the left. If you want to grab that right wrist with that left hand to deepen the stretch, be my guest. And so that we come back to center and we're coming in for Shavasana. So tuck the shoulder blades, palms face up. And breathe, coming back to the connection. Expressing some gratitude here. All of the many things we have to be thankful for today.
Bring in the awareness back into the body, but deepen in the breath. Wiggle in the fingers and toes. Hugging in those knees. And we'll all rock and meet in a comfy seat. You can bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for sharing this time and space with me. I hope that your body feels stretched out and open and ready for the day. Thank you for joining me. Namaste. Please do let me know how this went for you. I know a lot of y'all like a bunch of the stretches that we did in here, so please do comment below if these are some of your personal fan favorites. Thank you so much for showing up today. Such an honor to be here with you guys. I look forward to seeing you back on the mat tomorrow. Have a great rest of your day.